Good day everyone! Welcome to our Fisheries Professionals Licensure Examination Review. This review is intended for those fisheries graduates and students who will take the fisheries board exam. In this video, we are going to respond to some possible board exam questions. But before we proceed, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. So let us start! Number 1. Monopterus albus is a rice field eel endemic in the Philippines and has been a predicament for rice farmers and fishpan operators in Region 2, particularly in the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya and Quirino since 2011. This species can be bred in captivity and sexually mature in 10 to 12 months. Which of the following is the local name of Monopterus albus? Monopterus albus is a rice field eel endemic in the Philippines and has been a predicament for rice farmers and fishpan operators in Region 2, particularly in the provinces of Nueva Vizcaya and Quirino since 2011. This species can be bred in captivity and sexually mature in 10 to 12 months. Which of the following is the local name of Monopterus albus? A. Pigek B. Bulidaw C. Turet or D. Kissing Kissing The answer for this question is letter C, Kiwet. Monopterus albus is a rice alice species locally known as Kiwet, Igat, and Palos. This species can be found in freshwater and brackish water areas. It is a demersal species that dwells and feeds on or near the bottom. It is a potamodromous species, meaning it migrates within fresh water only. This species is a nocturnal fish and will often burrow into soft sediments or occupy crevices and small spaces. It is usually fed on fish, crustaceans, and other invertebrates and can be found in rivers, lakes, ponds, marshes, swamps, and drains. This yellow species was introduced in the Philippines in 1905 as an aquaculture species without a thorough evaluation of its possible negative impact on the environment. In Cagayan Valley region, it is being considered as a pest due to the economic loss it brought to farmers as it bore holes on the dikes, draining the water from the rice field, thus contributing to the additional expense of the farmers. However, from the economic point of view, the species offer great potential as an export commodity due to its broad export market in East Asian countries. Meanwhile, we also have here a brief introduction of what is Pigek or Bulidao. This species has a scientific name of Misoprestes cancellatus. It is a pelagic neurotic species that can migrate between freshwater and marine water areas, meaning it is amphidromous. Pigek is famous for its delectable taste, towering price, alarming conservation status, and confusing taxonomic identity. This species was reported from Alba River in Luzon, Rio Grande de Mindanao, Tamontaja River, and Pulangi River in Cotabato. Next is, what is the neutralizing value of hydrated lime or the slick lime calcium hydroxide? What is the neutralizing value of hydrated lime or the slick lime calcium hydroxide? A. 100 B. 136 C. 179 or D. 95 What is the neutralizing value of hydrated lime or the slick lime calcium hydroxide? The answer for this question is letter B, 136. We have different kinds of lime that can be used in order to neutralize the pH or the hydrogen ion concentration of our aquaculture system. Their differences varies on their neutralizing value. The first one is the calcium carbonate or the agricultural lime with 100 neutralizing value. Next to that is the dolomite limestone with 95 to 109 neutralizing value. 
Next is the calcium oxide or the quick lime or bright lime with 179. And lastly, the slick or hydrated lime or the calcium hydroxide with 136. This species of freshwater prone has an olive gray to grayish blue color and naturally distributed in our country. This species is one of the cultured commodity species at the Ford National Fisheries Development Center. This is known as Blanc. This species of freshwater prone has an olive gray to grayish blue color and naturally distributed in our country. This species is one of the cultured commodity species at the Far National Fisheries Development Center. This is known as Blanc. A. Macrobrachium resinbergi. B. Macrobrachium dati. C. Macrobrachium edelia. Or D. Macrobrachium malcomsoni. The correct answer for this question is letter B, Macrobrachium dakiti. Which of the following statements is R true? Which of the following statements is R true? 1. The best topography for a fish pond is likely sloping toward the outlet. 2. The presence of Suniracha trees indicates that the soil is productive and suitable for fish pond. 3. Southwest monsoon is a prevailing wind that usually occurs during the wet season and it is locally known as habagat. 4. A stable DO level of 5 ppm all throughout must be considered in selecting efficient sites. A. 1 only. B. 1 and 2. C. 1, 2, and 3. Or letter D. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The correct answer for this question is letter D. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next is, Virgo hybrids of rabbit fish were produced by breeding the blank. Virgo hybrids of rabbit fish were produced by breeding the blank. A. Male Ciganus gutatus with female Ciganus vermiculatus. B. Male Ciganus vermiculatus with female Ciganus gutatus. C. Male Epinifilus gutatus with female Epinifilus vermiculatus. Or letter D, female Epinifilus gutatus with male Epinifilus vermiculatus. The answer for this question is letter B. Male Ciganus vermiculatus with female Ciganus gutatus. How many gallons of water can an oyster filter in a day? How many gallons of water can an oyster filter in a day? A. Up to 10 gallons. B. Up to 25 gallons. C. Up to 50 gallons. Or letter D. Up to 100 gallons. How many gallons of water can an oyster filter in a day? The answer for this question is letter C, up to 50 gallons of water. Next is, the type of waterways on salinity where the salinity ranges between 0.5 and 3 ppt. This is known as blank. A. Oligohaline B. Mesohaline C. Polyhaline or letter D. None of these. It's a type of water based on salinity 
where the salinity ranges between 0.5 and 3 ppt. The answer for this question is letter A, oligohaline. Next is, it is a species of seaweed commonly cultured in mariculture. It is a species of seaweed commonly cultured in mariculture. A. Capapicus spp. Letter B. Caulerpa spp. Letter C. Sargassum spp. Or letter D. Glacillaria spp. It is a species of seaweed commonly cultured in mariculture. A. Capapicus species. B. Caulerpa species. C. Sargassum species or letter D. Glacillaria species. The correct answer for this question is letter D. Glacillaria SVP. Only in fully saline waters do milkfish spawn. At what age does a milkfish reach sexual maturity? Only in fully saline waters do milkfish spawn. At what age does a milkfish reach sexual maturity? A. 6 to 9 months. B. 1 to 2 years. C. 3 to 5 years. Or letter D. 5 to 10 years. Only in fully saline waters do milkfish spawn. At what age does the milkfish reach sexual maturity? The answer for this question is letter C, 3 to 5 years. The following statements about the culture of natural food are true, except the following statements about the culture of natural food are true, except 1. Light is a source of energy for photoautotrophic algae. Light is a source of energy for photoautotrophic algae. 2. The pH range for most cultured algal species is between 7 and 9. The pH range for most cultured algal species is between 7 and 9. 3. Mixing is necessary to prevent sedimentation of the algae. Mixing is necessary to prevent sedimentation of the algae. Or 4. The optimal temperature for the culture of phytoplankton is between 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. The optimal temperature for the Culture of phytoplankton is between 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 3 and 4 only or letter D. None of these. The correct answer for this question is letter D, none of these. There are many factors to be considered in culturing of natural foods. These factors involve the light, pH, aeration, and temperature. For the light, it is the source of energy for the photoautotrophic algae. The requirements of light vary with the culture depth and the density of the algal culture. Light may be natural or supplied by fluorescent lamp. For the pH, the pH range for most cultured algal species is between 7 and 9, with 8.2 to 8.7 as optimum range. With the aeration or mixing, mixing is necessary to prevent sedimentation of the algae. It is achieved by stirring daily by hand for small volume, Irrating for bigger volumes or using paddle wheels and jet pumps for ponds. And last, for the temperature, phytoplankton increases their 
growth rate with increasing temperature up to an optimum level after which growth rate declines often abruptly. The optimal temperature for the culture of phytoplankton is between 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. What do you call a male organism that at some point in its lifespan changes sex to become female? What do you call a male organism that at some point in its lifespan changes sex to become female? A. Potandrus B. Protogynus C. Polygyny or letter D. Polyandry What do you call a male organism that at some point in its lifespan changes sex to become female? A. Potandrus B. Protogynus C. Polygyny or letter D. Polyandry The correct answer for this question is letter A. Potandrus Next is, compute a one-day fed ration in kilogram for a pond staff with 25,000 milfish chanus chanus with 30 grams average body weight, 95% survival rate, and a feeding rate of 10% milfish body weight. Compute a one-day fed ration in kilogram for a pond staff with 25,000 milfish chanus chanus with 30 grams average body weight, 95% survival rate, and a feeding rate of 10% Dog fish by the way. A. 75 kilograms. B. 712.50 kilograms. Letter C. 750 kilograms. Or letter D. 71.25 kilograms. Okay, so the answer for this question is letter D, 71.25 kilograms. Next, what is the suitable age of the laparfry for sex reversal? What is the suitable age of the laparfry for sex reversal? A. Less than 17 days. B. 17 days. C. 17 to 21 days. Or letter D more than 21 days. What is the suitable age of the lapper fry for sex reversal? Okay, so the answer for this question is letter A, less than 17 days. This species is known as the second major fish commodity produced in the Philippines and the farming of this species has also been considered as the backbone of Philippine aquaculture. This species is blank. This species is known as the second major fish commodity produced in the Philippines and the farming of this species has also been considered as the backbone of Philippine aquaculture. This species is blank. A. Seaweeds B. Tilapia Letter C. Milkfish or D. Shrimps or prawns This species is known as the second major fish commodity produced in the Philippines and the farming of this species has also been considered as a backbone of the Philippine aquaculture. The answer for this question is letter C, milkfish. So here we have the top 4 aquaculture commodity produced by our country. As cited by the Philippine Statistic Authority or PSA, seaweeds is the main commodity produced in 2020 as it generated a share of 65.60% and it is followed by milkfish, tilapia, and shrimps or prawns with shares of 18.51%. 11.79% and 3.15% respectively.
And last, Ectiophoniasis is a fungal disease that exhibits no external signs in infected fish. However, with advanced infection, the fish might have rough or granulomatous skin, lesions in internal organs, and infection of the liver and kidney, which led to abdominal distension and exophthalmia. Therefore, what is the best thing to do to treat and control this bacterial disease? 1. Feeding of raw fish or infected food must be prevented. 2. Any infected fish or dead fish must be destroyed. 3. The use of chemical therapeutic procedures must be done in accordance with the standard protocols. And 4. All nets, brushes, and utensils used around infected fish must also be disinfected at the same time. A. 1 and 2 B. 2 and 3 C. 3, 4 and 2 Or letter D. 4, 2 and 1 What is the best thing to do to treat and control this bacterial disease? The answer for this question is letter D, 4, 2, and 1. So that ends our review questions. I hope you learned a lot from this video. See you in the next session. Thank you.